Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What's for Breakfast. I feel like it's been a while since I shared one of these. Um, I've just been really keeping it pretty simple for a while and not making many like big breakfasts. And I don't really like to share the tip of breakfast with y'all because it's just eggs, toast, and fruit most of the time. But I do have three breakfasts to share with you today, so let's go ahead and get into the video. The first breakfast I've got to share with you is this ham, egg, and cheese crescent baked casserole from Plain Chicken. I always love the recipes that I try from Plain Chicken, so I was sure that this one was going to be a hit. So in a bowl, use a large bowl, because you'll see I use too small of a bowl. You need a, a big bowl to get this mixed together really well. So in a large bowl, you should mix together eight ounces of softened cream cheese, about a pound of some cut up ham. I use some Canadian bacon that I just cut up about three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese and three quarters of a cup of Swiss cheese, about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of Worcestershire, and a tablespoon of brown sugar, and then a fourth a teaspoon of onion powder, and I use the Trader Joe's onion salt. And this was a little bit difficult for me to mix together. I think my cream cheese just wasn't quite softened enough, and it doesn't help that I started in too small of a bowl. Um, next time I might leave out the cream cheese just because my family doesn't really prefer the cream cheese in it. Um, but if I do use the cream cheese, I might um, make this in the KitchenAid because the KitchenAid does a really good job of mixing cream cheese together really well. I usually use that when I mix um, my cheese balls. After I had all that mixed together, I moved on to getting out my crescent rolls. Here I deviated from the recipe just a little bit. She wanted you to use an eight count and a four count of crescent rolls to equal, you know, 12 crescent rolls. But um, I can't find the four count when I do most of my shopping at Aldi. So I just bought two eight counts and used them as they were. The other thing that she wanted you to do was cut each triangle in half. So you had really tiny triangles and that just didn't seem like it was going to work very well for me like because you're going to be rolling up that ham mixture in the crescent rolls and I found the step of cutting the crescent rolls in half um, a little a little too much <laughs> like too much work to do and you'd have all these tiny triangles to fill up so I did not do that I just left them in their whole size and then spooned on probably about a tablespoon and a half of the ham mixture on each crescent roll. I'm going to do the first package of crescent rolls, roll them up and set them into a nine by 13 inch pan. And then I got the other package of eight crescent rolls out, did the same thing, rolled them up and put them in my nine by 13 inch pan. And I did grease that pan first. Once I had all my crescent rolls filled up and lined up in my pan, I measured out one and a half cups of milk and to that I added five eggs and I did season this with some salt and pepper which was again was something not in the recipe and then I just whisked that together really well and poured it over top of the crescent rolls and then she had poppy seeds is what you're supposed to sprinkle over the top. I didn't have poppy seeds so I sprinkled this with a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning and I made this ahead of time. I made this the night before. So I just put the lid on this and stuck this in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, I take it out and stick it into my cold oven and let the casserole dish kind of preheat with the oven. And I turn the oven on to 350 and typically like not from the refrigerator, it says to bake for 30 to 40 minutes. For me, it took right at an hour since it was cold from the fridge. This was delicious, but I will say since my cream cheese was really hard to mix, some bites had like big pieces of cream cheese, like a big globs of cream cheese. And I think that's what made my family like not like the cream cheese very much in it. So as I mentioned before, I think next time I would either cut back on the cream cheese or mix it together better in my KitchenAid so that the cream cheese is more thoroughly mixed throughout so you don't get those big pieces of cream cheese in it like happened for me. Next up I have this like sausage and potato egg skillet meal and this isn't really a recipe as you see this is a frozen bag of stuff that I'm just going to really add eggs to. 
Um, and this was from Aldi, but I'm pretty sure Jimmy Dean has one that you can find at like your regular grocery store. So I just thought I would share this with you just in case you want to see how I would prepare something like this. So I started off by heating a couple tablespoons of oil in the bottom of my skillet. I let that get nice and hot. And then I just added in my bag of sausage and potatoes and peppers. And I just let that sit and cook on that one side so you can kind of get it like nice and crispy on the one side. You don't want to like keep stirring it around often. Um, if you really want it to get crispy, you've got to let it sit before flipping it around. I also went in with some seasoning. I went in with some garlic powder, some onion salt, and some Tony's Creole seasoning. And I just let that cook until my potatoes got nice and crispy and I just didn't stir it often. I let it kind of sit with that one side on the heat so I could get crispy and then flip it over, let the other side get crispy. Once I had that as crispy as I wanted it to be, I pushed it to one side and then I poured in some eggs. I think I scrambled up about four eggs with some salt and pepper and then just, I put those on the other side. Anytime you see me make anything that I put scrambled eggs in, I'm always gonna push the like main thing to the side that has already cooked and then scramble the eggs on the other half. And then once the eggs are like most of the way cooked through, then I will add everything together, like stir it all to combine. That way the egg doesn't like stick to everything else. Um, I just find everything has a better texture if the eggs are left to one side to kind of cook by themselves first. To serve this, I just topped it with a little bit of cheese. We did some Monterey Jack cheese and then typically I would put like hot sauce on something like this, but instead of hot sauce, I use this crunchy chili onion stuff from uh, Trader Joe's, not Aldi, I almost said Aldi, but it's from Trader Joe's. I'm already like halfway through this jar. It is delicious and I've been putting it on everything. But this breakfast skillet stuff, this is the first time I ever tried it from Aldi and it was pretty good. You just gotta cook it right and season it properly. For the last breakfast, I made some stuffed biscuits. So I'm starting off by just making some scrambled eggs. So I'm scrambling up five eggs. So I'm getting that in a measuring cup with some salt and pepper and just whisking it together. And, and then I'm gonna be cooking this in my cast iron pan. I've already preheated my cast iron pan and got it nice and hot, but it's over a medium low heat. I don't like to cook these on too high of a temperature because when I do, my eggs will stick to my pan like really bad. So I cook it over a medium low. It does take a little bit longer to cook them, but they don't stick to my pan too bad. So I got those in there with a little bit of bacon grease. I always use bacon grease to cook my eggs and just slowly like stirred them around until the eggs were fully cooked. Now for the biscuits, you're gonna wanna buy the like big flaky biscuits. The ones with the layers are the ones that you're gonna want. This is an eight count pack of layered biscuits. I'm just gonna take them out and then you're gonna take each biscuit and break it apart so that you've got a top and a bottom and you're gonna flatten it out so that it's bigger so that you have room to stuff it and with a little bit of an edge around it so you can pinch the top and the bottom back together. So I am using some Canadian bacon. You could just do ham. You could do some cooked sausage. Really whatever you wanna fill these with, it's up to you. You're just gonna wanna fill it with whatever you want. So I've got my Canadian bacon, a little bit of the scrambled eggs that I made, and then I did a half a piece of cheddar cheese. And then I take the top piece of the biscuit, put it back on there and kind of pinch the sides around to seal it. And I just repeat this whole process for all eight of the biscuits.
And then I just baked these according to the biscuits package directions. For me, that was 350 for 16 minutes. And then they turned out nice and golden brown. And then here is what one of them looked like cut open cheesy and you've got your nice biscuit and then I just took the rest of them and wrapped them up in parchment paper. You could store these in the fridge for the week for kids breakfast, your breakfast to make it super quick and easy or you could throw them in the freezer which is what I plan on doing. I plan on throwing them in the freezer for a quick like grab and go breakfast for my husband to give him a little bit of variation because he usually does breakfast burritos which I will have the video where I've shared that down below if you are interested in that. But y'all have asked for more like quick, easy grab and go breakfast. So I thought that y'all would really like this recipe and that gives him a little bit more variation too. Although he really does like his uh, breakfast burritos. That's why I don't really share like other grab and go breakfasts. But these were delicious and I'm really glad that I made them. I think they'd be perfect for kids. But that is going to be it for this what's for breakfast video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any recommendations for breakfast recipes that you want me to try, leave them in the comments down below because I'd love to see like maybe if there's something that you've been thinking about trying but you'd rather <laughs> see me try it first, let me know and I will maybe try to make that if it's something that I think my family would like. As always, I hope that you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!